Hey, welcome to uh, Mike Allison Coaching. Glad to have you here on my channel on YouTube. If it's your first time here, great to have you. If you're returning, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Now remember to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And by all means, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I've got a new video out. Now today, I'm talking about the fourth reason that so much sales training fails to deliver the results that sales organizations and even salespeople are looking for. Now, if you haven't seen the previous three videos I did on this subject, they're short, they're about a minute and a half to two minutes each. I'll put the links to them below this one and then you can go and have a look at those videos also after you've watched that, this one. Now, let's go into the fourth reason that so much sales training fails to deliver the results. And it's because so many sales organizations try to cram all of their sales training into a one-day workshop. So they get a new team of reps, they put them in a training room for a day with a trainer, and these poor reps have to sit there and endure hours of instruction and tips on sales mixed with walkthroughs of the customer relationship management platform and other sessions only to return to work the next day overwhelmed with information and no idea where they should start. Now let's think about that logically. Based on your own experience, do you think one day of sales training is going to be enough for your reps to develop the skills that they need to communicate the most effectively with your prospects and customers? And is one day of training really going to guarantee that they're going to go out and put into practice in an effective way what they've learned in that workshop? You know the answer. If you're a sales rep and if you're a sales manager, you know the answer to those questions is no, absolutely not. One day of sales training is not sufficient. So here's a suggestion. Instead of trying to cram a whole bunch of sales training into a one-day workshop, what would happen if you actually designed a three or four day sales training workshop and then took your sales team and allowed them to enjoy three or four days of training? It could be on site or off site, but in that time period, you would focus only on sales skills and they would have lots of time to actually role play and practice those skills in the classroom. That's one idea. The second idea is this, and I know that many organizations aren't in a position where they can take their sales reps out of the field for three or four days, but you can still take that same amount of training, let's say a three or four day workshop, a very thorough sales training workshop, and then break it into small chunks where instead of doing three or four days consecutively, perhaps your team does three or four hours at a time of training over many weeks. And in each of those small chunks of time, in each of those two or three or four hour workshops, perhaps they focus just on one skill. Perhaps it's questioning skills. They learn what great questions look like. They practice them. And then they can go out in the field the next day and actually start using what they learned in the classroom with their prospects and with their clients. And that makes the sales training much more digestible. Your reps aren't going to be so overwhelmed and they're going to know that they just have one specific skill to focus on perhaps for that week. And that gives them a big advantage when they get out into the field. Now, you as a manager, I'm trusting that you're going out with your reps and doing sales calls with them so after they've had that small chunk of very specific training on a very specific skill, you go out with them, watch them using that skill in their conversations with prospects and clients. And after they've done a call, you can give them real-time feedback and coaching. Let them know what they did well, what they didn't do so well, what they could have done better. And so then they can go and do that on the very next call. That type of sales training is the most effective because not only are you providing the training, but you're providing the coaching and feedback to go with it to make sure that they actually implement what they've learned in their work. 
One other thing you could do, some companies actually allow their reps to record the audio and even the audio and visual of their sales calls, assuming that clients will allow them to do that. And then they bring those audios or those videos back into the office after a day out in the field. And many sales organizations will schedule specific times throughout the week where the team will sit down and watch some of these videos or listen to some of this audio. And then even the team, their colleagues, can give each other feedback and even some coaching on what they did well, what they didn't do so well, what they could do better to improve in their selling skills. So remember, one of the reasons that so much sales training fails to deliver the results that people are looking for is because many sales organizations try and cram way too much training into a one-day workshop. Instead, spread that sales training out over several days or if you can't do several days in a row, several weeks into smaller digestible chunks, focusing on one skill at a time, and then make sure that you're following up by going out with your reps, watching them use the skills they've learned and giving them the real-time feedback and coaching they need to improve. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and by all means, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. I wish you all the success you can handle and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.